In the week of Boko Haram insurgency in 2011, in northeast Nigeria, various business outlets shut down operations as insecurity was in the zone. The impact of the action has seriously affected lives and properties, obstructed business activities and discouraged local and foreign investors, which in turn affected Nigeria's overall economic growth and development. Some people who have fled their villages from Borno, Zamfara, Jigawa and Nigeri public are now residing in Adamawa, speak on the impact of insecurity on their lives and their small businesses. In the Bakasataba, do I was among big business people in my community in Borno before the insurgency activities. But look at me now in Adamawa. My physical appearance tells you who I am now and what I am going through for years. I believe Nigeria cannot achieve development unless it first seeks to achieve security of its citizens. I fled from my state Sokoto as the result of banditry. My parents are still there taking care of the siblings. We lost almost all of our lifetime savings to rescue an uncle who was the breadwinner of the family. He was kidnapped on his way to a village market. This cola note you see me selling is the only business I do here in Yola to help them and it's not giving me enough to assist. I am an indigent of Niger Republic. I came to Adamawa in 2016 with my family as the result of Boko Haram activities that disrupt our areas, leading to loss of businesses. My family and I now depend on this tea business. Insecurity has posed serious challenges and threat to the peace and stability on our growth as a nation. Security analyst Umar Mohammed says more need to be done as no business can thrive without adequate security. But when there is that, when there is no security, Definitely there is a problem, there will be a problem. That all traditional rulers should also engage, put their effort, put their advices, put their prayers, put their necessary advice to people that are living under them on how to help one another. This abject poverty is not easy. It's not everybody that can scale it. He said a lot of farmers left their farms leading to high rate of waste and losses while gunman attacks have not helped matters. From Yola, Silas Lowen, Trust TV News.